So the diagnostic criteria of Alzheimer's disease have evolved tremendously. In the last 30 years we have evolved from clinical criteria to criteria for research first and then practice later involving and uh, having a biomarker results in it. So we have moved from a clinical description to a pathophysiological description of the disease. So to identify biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease we have to go uh, way back until the early 80s when the first FDG PET scan was done in Alzheimer's disease, then moving to structural imaging, MRI, to CSF analysis for the proteins, A beta, tau, to PET imaging, uh, visualizing amyloid and now recently also tau. So we are now able to um, really capture the pathological process of Alzheimer's disease in vivo by using these biomarkers. That's a tricky question, mild cognitive impairment. I'm not particularly um, fond of the concept because mild cognitive impairment is just a stage in a clinical spectrum, but it doesn't tell you anything about the cause. I think what we have now evolved to using these biomarkers is that we can identify early Alzheimer's disease by just looking at the biomarker. So in, uh, I would say in the future we don't need the concept of MCI anymore. So many trials of Alzheimer's disease have failed because um, it is difficult to target Alzheimer's disease in the brain. The brain doesn't let some, a lot of drugs inside, it's difficult to pass the blood-brain barrier and in the past it has been proven difficult to get the right patients into the trial in the right moment. So I think with the advantage of the biomarkers we have now, the future trials will be designed better and will be designed smarter using um, earlier populations defined by the biomarkers. And I'm, I have no doubt that at some point in time we will be successful. Um, in the coming year I don't expect a lot to change. I think there is a lot of focus on prevention in the sense what can you do yourself. So lifestyle changes, um, treating blood pressure, cholesterol, all that sort of thing. I think it's important also for dementia, that has been proven uh, already. But I think the next step is to really treat the disease itself. And I think we have to wait for a couple of years. Uh, some trials are now undergoing phase three that we really have to await the result. And I think in the end, those will give us the answer whether we are on the right track or not.